Hello guys. Hello guys. Welcome you to my channel, Let's Say Graphics and Multimedia. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys the simple way by which you can change from color uh, image to black and white in Adobe Photoshop. So if you are very new to my channel, please remember to subscribe to this channel for more interesting content about Photoshop and some other interesting tutorial. So without wasting much of our time, so let's get today practical started. So the first thing you need to do is to open your picture in a Photoshop, just like what you are seeing on the screen right here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a duplicate of this picture. I have to come to the picture layer, then you have to right click on it. And now that I click on it, you have to look for duplicate layer. Then you can name this one here black and white. Okay. Now click on OK. Now what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to take the color, which is the first one here, the the first original layer here. We can we can come back here and uh, name this. Uh, color image now click on ok i mean enter key on my keyboard now i'm going to go to my home tab here i'll go to edit and uh, looking for free transform and uh, so i'm going to drag the color to one side here so I'm going to hide the original color layer right now you come to the layer panel and uh, click on the disable thumbnail I icon so when you click on it the original image is going to hide so i'm going to work on this now so the next thing i'm going to do is to go to image from the home tab here then go to adjustments and uh, look straight for black and white here you can set you can control your black and white the way and manner you want it to look like or better still you can give it an auto black and white so this is depends on exactly what you want and how you want your picture to be converted into black and white so from this slider here you can easily control the the black and white formats And control the slider okay so once you are satisfied with the result of the confession you have to come to the top here and click on ok so now if you are to be sure of what we have just done right here you have to come to, uh, I'm going to come to the layer panel here again I'm going to on, on click on the hidden one so you can see we have successfully convert our picture from color picture to black and white using Adobe Photoshop so so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to press control key on my keyboard and select the original color and uh, I'm going to press control T on my keyboard just to open the transform tools I'm going to press my control minus to zoom into the entire canvas then I'm going to press down shift key and alternative key on my keyboard and dragging just to resize the image okay i'm going to press enter key on my keyboard i'm 
okay so i'm going to press ctrl j on my keyboard just to group the two layer and i'm going to press ctrl a to select everything i'm going to come to my home tab here and choose alignment vertical center and uh, alignment horizontal center just to centralize the image then one other thing i can do here is to make sure i choose the alignment to the bottom center good so we have to come to home tab here again select and uh to choose the select just to take away the interlace so now i can select this one here and uh, bring some adjustment so i can come down here and uh, make a new layer from the layer panel here and make a new layer then i can take the color image over the new layer now i can come back to the layer background new layer background then i have to go to my tools now and select rectangular tools then i will select rectangle then i will draw over to create background color So guys, you can see this is very much glaring that we are able to convert our color image into the black and white using Adobe Photoshop. These are the simple way by which you can achieve this effect in Adobe Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video, please click like button. And also, if you are very new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And also, remember to click on the notification bell icon. So whenever I upload content about Photoshop and some other video, You'll be able to watch and learn one or two things. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.